hey hey everyone and a welcome in or a welcome back it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please click that subscribe button the like and the bell for notifications eight months a suzanne amorphew has been missing i want to make sure that we keep her face in social media and we keep her a name alive Let's also touch on what a good husband Barry Morphew is for passing out missing flyers of his wife's disappearance. With that, guys, let's get into it. It's been eight months since Suzanne Morphew first went missing. She was last seen leaving her Salida home for a bike ride on Mother's Day. I am still not convinced she even went on a bike ride, and I'm not convinced she was even there the morning of Mother's Day. After leaving her home for a bike ride near Salida, last Mother's Day, Suzanne Morphew, 49, still has not returned home. It's been eight months since her husband, Barry, and their two kids saw her, and according to the Chafee County Sheriff's Office, there still have not been any arrests made in connection to her disappearance. CCSO has been working with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, and the 11th Judicial District to investigate her disappearance. In an effort to find Morphew, law enforcement teams have conducted countless searches and investigative interviews. In efforts to pursue all leads, CCSO SO said in a Facebook post Sunday that they've sorted through more than 1,300 tips concerning the case. We thank you, our community, for your assistance, concern, and patience, said Chafee County Sheriff John Spezzi. Suzanne is missing. We in law enforcement hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. The worst case scenario is that something unlawful occurred. I'm thinking that is probably the case, unfortunately. And as such, we go about our investigation, ensuring we are working within the rules of law and treating everything we learn as potential evidence for court. In May, search teams looked through a construction site outside of Salida, but did not say if they found any evidence. Shortly after Morpheus' disappearance, deputies found a personal item belonging to her in the Mayville area. They did not say what the item was. In September, some volunteers drove more than 20 hours from Morphew's hometown in Indiana to help search. And we all know that search was put on her by her brother, Andy, and they hiked through the mountains in search of any clues for a total of six days. And everyone that watches Profile and Evil and the Draper brothers were probably there, like me, watching as it unfolded. I do feel like this area has been searched over before us, but I still want to walk it again, said Andy Mormon, Suzanne's brother. During the search efforts, it's the least I could do for her. It's too little, too late, but at least it's something. Anyone who may have engaged with Morphew on Facebook, Instagram, Voxer, FaceTime, or WhatsApp and would like to share new information or come forward if they haven't been interviewed is asked to contact the tip line, and I'll drop that number in the description. They've urged those people to do so even if they think investigators are already aware of the information. Sped said they also believe some people might be hesitant to come forward out of concern that they may get someone in trouble. He said those people could reach out anonymously. What do you guys think? Do you think that the police know more than what they're saying i wonder if they have gone over every single work permit that barry did and i would go back a year before and go to every job site and look for suzanne because in my opinion i believe a barry morphew knows exactly where his missing wife is all right let's jump into the little article with Barry Morphew passing out flyers for his wife. I think it was a couple weeks ago. This was actually on December 10th. So I'm a month late. I don't know where the days go anymore with COVID and everything going on in the world. But missing Susan Morphew's husband, a Barry Morphew spotted handing out flyers at the supermarket. The husband 
of missing Colorado woman Suzanne Morphew was reportedly seen distributing flyers at a Safeway supermarket this week. As Fox News reports, Barry Morphew was seen in Salida on December 10th distributing flyers about Suzanne's disappearance. Seven months to the day, the 49-year-old was reported missing on Mother's Day. Fox 21 News reporter Lauren Scharf shared a photo of the flyer on Twitter showing two snapshots of the missing mother and contact information for tips about her disappearance. This is actually the flyer that he was uh, passing out. And it's funny, I do not remember ever seeing that picture on the right. She's such a beautiful woman. I really hope that we do get some answers to what happened to Suzanne Morphew. And in my opinion, I believe Barry Morphew holds that key. But I'm still not too sure about Trevor. And you guys know that have followed me as I've been on to Trevor since like the second video that I've done. But hopefully the police are working the investigation and they do know more than what they're saying. And I do think they need to go back and check every single job site that Barry worked on in the last year prior to Suzanne Morphew going missing. Ugh, I don't know. I wonder how Andy Mormon's holding up. All right, let me read these, um, this other Twitter feed about the signs that they had put back up in Salida regarding Suzanne. So here is the Twitter from Lauren again that says, Sign for Suzanne Morphew is back up in Salida asking anyone with info to call the tip line. 719-312-753. Zero, And let me just go ahead and do a close-up of these signs. Alright, let's try that again. Please call if you have any info on Susan Morphew with the tip line. So, let's also touch real fast because most of us who follow the case know that Suzanne Morphew's father passed away and his obituary was definitely sad. So it comes in here and they say missing Suzanne Morphew's family believes she is dead. I don't even like saying that word. But if we come in here, this was the obituary to her father. And rest in peace, Jean Mormon. He was preceded in death by his parents, an infant brother, a mother, the mother of his children, Adrian Burnett Owen, wife Lou Ann, and missing and presumed dead daughter Suzanne Morphew. That breaks my heart. And I still find it very interesting that her daughters have yet to come out and make a statement regarding their missing mom. So with that, guys, let's just make sure that we keep Suzanne Morphew in our thoughts. We keep her face on social media and we keep her story out there. And I do pray that the police know more than what they're saying. And hopefully they're on to some leads. I don't know, but we can all pray. Everyone pray that Suzanne Morphew is found. All right, guys. And with that. There is nothing new to update on her case. I just wanted to get out there that I cannot believe that she has been missing for eight months. All right, guys, with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for uh, watching. Uh, please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and uh, subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay a vigilant. I am out.